attractive to a lot of people yung um, grace and sacrament. So a part of it is people with disabilities uh, that don't have the capacity to either bear children or conceive children. So um, since kanet, they're married in, in the church and they do want to have children, para what... Um, how can uh, they receive the grace of that having a family uh, ah. is adoption ba possible since they don't have the capacity to have it in the natural way? The, uh, no, the, the church um, is very, very open uh, to everyone in relation to the question you asked. Now, um, they, if they are open to life, okay, they can get married. Okay? Meaning, they may be sterile, they may not open to life in a logical sense, but their desire is openness, etc. They can get married. Another thing, though, is to be impotent. <laughs> Meaning, to be impotent is a person that cannot... Uh, that is very difficult, the validation of marriage. Now, for those who may be sterile, they are uh, sacrament of marriage. Okay, and because they're life as well, they, they may be facilitated in these things called adoption, which are highly, highly okay. So it is also possible. Um, will is the church extending her hand uh, in relation to this? Some, some, some are active in the scene of um of adoption. Okay. Did they answer it? So it, it can be. Uh, even if a person is sterile, huh? they can celebrate marriage. Okay? It's not a invalidating thing, ground for nullity. What is a ground is they can act. That's different. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Saria, yeah, for your question. Okay. Are there are the other questions? Okay, sorry, you again. Are you so, yeah. I know, um, hindi ko sure kung related. Um, Will it was, <laughs> ko sure, um, medyo kinakabahan ang tanongin siya. Yung question ko kasi, um, about contraception, um, uh, Regarding sa ano, um, kasi di ba para may instances of, um, uh, ay wait, una muna clarifying question. Uh, yung, kasi di ba marriage consent between two individuals. So parang pagka yung other forced to marriage or parang circumstances na parang um, kinailangan para remedyo with something is, uh, sagot is marriage. Parang, um, invalidated yung marriage na yun, right? If na-force yung isang person to be married. Through a tribunal, uh, through a court, no? um, there's a declaration, it's a process of declaration of nullity for that. Hindi automatic invalid na, no? Ah, uh, okay. So, parang yung process nun, ito ba yung, kasi nung dati yung pagkakaintindi ko sa annulment, parang magsusulat ng letter sa bishop, tapos papadala sa Pope, Mm. Tapos parang i pagka may tribunal or something, parang papatawag yung mga people na married okay. um, that are applying for that or being assessed for that. Okay, so um, this very easy process called declaration of nullity is, is, is uh, simplified by the Holy Father. You know, so you go to the parish priest, normally, I hope he knows that it exists, he helps you. To go to the bishop of the diocese who is a judge in the tribunal that he possesses already and then the bishop with consultations from canon lawyers can initiate what you call a declaration sometimes a brief process even and then in this brief process it's not the same as like the civil court there is a study few questions maybe witnesses to prove affirmations were correct and then they put it on paper, okay? So, um, it's simple. Now, it's not like in the olden days, before Pope Francis, when there are two things, two tribunals rather, make a sentence. First, your diocese, and then next, Metro Manila. And then if it can, Manila says, no, you have to go to Rome. Now, it only is 
or can be the Bishop of the Diocese. Streamlined, it is simplified now. Connected? Or... Yeah, oh, um, I guess because I'm coming from a space na um, what if um, uh, nahin ka na baka mat, may ibang matrigger pero about cases about rape na parang um, either man or woman na parang um, nagkaroon ng con abuse or something sa relationship and something's wrong. So parang legally, pwede nilang i-anil sa sa courts na justice system. Pero parang marriage-wise, parang um, open din ba yung church na parang i-evaluate yung ganong client of partnership, especially pag dangerous eh. potentially for the man or for the woman? Uh, when you say declare nullity, meaning there was something wrong in the consent that started. So if there were rapes that succeeded after the partnership or so, during the partnership, it is studied. May baka may problem psychologically, the guy. Mm -hmm. no? So the case is studied investigated you know, by competent person of the parish or of the tribunal and it is possible. Meaning, I think if a person some psychological or incapacity it could have been present. But it has to be studied. It cannot be any gender. I cannot generalize like that. The defect is from the I do. No, hindi yung after. But if there's something that happened after, pinakalan, baka nandun na yon, even in the I do. It was present already in the soul or in the heart or in the will of the person. Remember, he was already womanizing many others. At the start, he was already thinking about that when he said I do. And when the church has proven that, it could be declared not. Uh, okay. The church is open to that, yeah. Oh, kasi parang um, with all things nga, parang um, it could be a difference in time. Uh, pero yun nga, if it has to be proven that before um, the marriage or it, yung I do, parang na meron na siyang, um, psych ano yung tawag na sa court, diba? psychological incapacity? Yeah. Or parang meron siyang, um, ano term, tendency ba? Um, to have this either violent na, ano, na interaction the spouse. Well, because the church follows, which are words of our Lord, yung, what it must put together, no man put asunder. Put it asunder. Meaning, um, when they get married, no one, not even the authority of the church, can annul that. No government can annul that. I Meaning, they can do that on a very non uh, fake thing. No? They can annul civilly, etc. We can have many fictional things. But in the real sense, as Catholic theology teaches us, the real sense, they still are kung nangyari after. That's what the church does, is in study, kung may nagkamali sa I do, binabalikan talaga. No? So, um, kasi if it happened after only, no, um, it is possible na mayroong yan in the past. Really study. Oh. Even the authority of the church cannot say, null na yan. No, it, it, when once forged, no, the matrimonial bond, the sacramental bond is so strong that it cannot be broken by any other. Unless there was really something wrong with the bond at the start. Yeah. But it is, the church is very open. It studies a lot. And uh, uh, with Oops. Okay, oops, Father. Sorry, Father, nag-freeze ka ata. Nag-freeze. Ayan, okay. So, uh, in-explain niya na parang uh, uh, from I do and then pinabacktrack siya. Pero, um, what about the circumstances? Like, um, before, kasi parang uh, people are ever-changing in uh, wills and souls nila um, to transform din. Well, from my understanding, with what what I know, um, parang what if somewhere along the way, parang nagkaroon ng either PTSD yung either of the spouses, tapos um, naging reactionary na ganun na yung abuse and ang um, ano nga naman, parang yung recurrence uh, of that na dating dangerous yung relationship nila. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, the advice there is they separate. But 
mean that their bond is already inexistent. If there's abuse, they separate houses. Pero hindi sila pwede mag-asawa. They cannot forge other bond. They have to wait. If they want to file for a process of nullity, they, they can and they do. We have to help them see that. Uh, 